Hello, Aqua here again. Welcome to episode 6 of my 1.5.2 beta version 0.8 season 2. Um, weird to start off with. <laughs> I've just logged on and my MPS suit's on the armor stand there and it seems to have shrunk to a little baby one, which is kind of awesome and kind of weird. Um, don't know what's going on there. Well, let's put it back on. Is it normal? No, no. Turns out it wants to be a little. That's quite funny. Um, Right, what I'm going to do, a couple of things, one, I've not got the resources yet to put armour into this, now, let's have a look at the um, mod, at modular, should get me most of it, there we go, and uh, iron thrusters, needing VAR, 4 field emitters, 4 field emitters needed on a tune tesseract, so that's pretty cool I think. I think everything needs at least two of them, so at least eight ender pearls. And what I've not got at the minute is silver to make the way out. I'm not actually going to use the IC2 recipes. I'm going to stick, I'm gonna, even though, pardon me, even though they are all there, I'm going to stick to the um, T recipes only. So I can't actually do anything with that for now, so I'm going to have to just make myself some um, iron armor for now. Just so I've got a bit of protection. Um, so I'm going to make myself a full set of iron armor. And I'll be upgrading as I go to uh, something better. Uh, should I make some longfall boots? How many dams have I got? Let's have a look. Longfall. Uh, from the portal mod. There's these guys, longfall boots. Uh, two diamonds. Screw it, let's do it. I forgot what it was already. <laughs> uh, iron up both sides, okay. So you need to make two lots of these. Have I got any obsidian? I bet I haven't, have I? Okay, and let's make some obsidian first. God damn it. Well, I've got plenty of diamonds, as you saw on my uh, little musical interlude on yesterday's episode. So, after today's episode, just to remind you, I'll be doing a live stream. So this is going out at... Uh, 12 GMT, an hour after this has gone up, so about 20 minutes after this finishes, if I do my usual 40 minutes, then um, there'll be a live stream up. I'll probably do another couple of hours. I will do some later in the day at some point, uh, it's just until I get a bit used to it, I'm doing them at a time, that's a bit easier for me, but there will be some better ones for you guys. There we go, long fall boat, you met two of them, put them together. And they, these guys you can take no damage from falling. So if I do fall from any height, I'm, I'll be alright. It's pretty good, pretty good. Uh, they are a little bit expensive, but you know. Um, right, a couple of things I want to start with. What have I done with the base? I made a couple of armor stands, as you see. Um, I put, started putting B stuff in there, by the way. And with B stuff, I've started... I made a couple of these B houses. These are the real basic ones. So just take one honeycomb five planks and three wooden slabs get you these bee houses you cannot automate these you cannot breed in these but i am i am just using them to get myself a little bit of honeycomb the mistake i made yesterday was i made my ender pouch and ender bag which is good but i should have made a chunk loader first um it's a bit of a bit of a schoolboy error i should have made a chunk loader um what i have made is from xeno's reliquary i've made lily pad of fertility i'll show you that lily what the hell Oops. <laughs> Lily pad of fertility, there we go. Eight of these splash fertilizer serums, which are just condensed splash serum with bone meal, which is just vial of water with gunpowder, glowstone, and nether water, and a vial of ordinary water is just a vial which is five panes of glass. Gets you um gets you five of them. So it's a pane of glass each. So that's works out pretty cheap. So I made three of them, I've got one there. And I've got one in each of the farms here, so that should grow stuff quicker. What that does is that um, in the same range as water reaches to tilled land, so in four in each direction, that um, increases the rate things grow at. So I'll be putting them in my MFR farms once once I get them going. Um, have I done anything in here? I don't think so. I have been crashing quite a bit touching this. Um, most of the certain modules was causing me to crash quite a little bit, so be, be aware of that in this version. Um, I filled up my other energy cell, and if you look in there, I've got 
plenty of things in there. Oh, and there's the other thing. I've added pumpkin and melon. None have actually grown yet because uh, I logged off pretty much after I um, planted them. But what I've done is I've used IC2 crops. So there, I see two crops, and I've got two pumpkin and one melon at the minute. I made the melon using a pumpkin seed and the minium stone. You can turn a pumpkin into a melon seed, so because otherwise you have to. Um, they are a little bit rare melons. You can get them out of dungeon chests and stuff. They do grow naturally now, I believe. I'm not sure if that's a biome thing though. But um, I see two crops, nice and easy. Just sticks. There we go. Four sticks gets you two crops. Plant the crops there, and then your melons and your pumpkins will grow in a single block instead of having to have space around them. Which is also really nice. Um, makes things a little bit more compact. So I need to start looking at building a bigger base now. Uh, one of the things I want to do though is... I said that was bugged because that's the nether portal um, showing there. But what I can do is if I go through the portal up here... I've still not done anything else with this, I've not really sussed how it works yet, but if I jump into the nether, I think I have to do it from the nether side. Hello. And a uh, bit of lag as we load into this side. They're all coming through the portal, that's out in the field then, isn't it? Oh shit. Don't kill me, asshole. That was close. Um, we are having a little bit of load lag when we switch dimensions. Partly, I guess, because things aren't chunk loaded, so they have to actually fully load the dimension when you come in. Now, if you go back to Overworld, normally, if I was chunk loaded, it'd go through a bit quicker. But, um, this is partly, uh, these keys have changed, by the way. M in this version is a new waypoint, and B is your minimap options. Before, I think that was N was a waypoint. Uh, well, whatever, they have changed. But that's, that's your default options now. M and uh, B and with the M you may have to change that because I think that one here, I think one of these locomotive keys is I think that one's maybe set to M as well so I'll just put them to something that I don't use so if I go to B if I go to my waypoints I've got this portal one and if I look on the options there no that's not right at all B waypoints portal edit if we go to edit see there it shows in the nether I can turn off so it doesn't show in the overworld I'm done and same with that don't show in the overworld because I don't need them to show in the overworld I just want to show in the nether so they'll both show now when I'm in the nether when I go back into the overworld it shouldn't be there and uh, let's see okay I've come for the right door for a change Interesting. Wonder if it depends which side I enter the portal from down there. Um, I know one thing I need to do is put a fence around that one to stop mobs wandering in and me getting nearly killed. So I, I'm going to cut the camera, just sit, make that a little bit safer, put a little fence around it so that that doesn't happen again. Ooh, what's that? King Slam, somewhere over that way. Let's go find a King Slam. Screw it. Don't know why. I keep forgetting I've got bloody um keep forgetting I've got them down the uh pressure pads. Who's who's a king slam? Blue slam. Looks like that one's a king slam, doesn't it? It's quite our way over there. Kill a king slam. See what we get. Now I'm not sure what the actual they always drop a weapon, a tinker's construct weapon. A king slam version of it. I'm not sure what oh shit. Um, I'm not sure what the King Slam version of the weapon does for you. It's going to get a bit heavy in it with these skeletons in the mix. There's the King Slam. Hopefully skeletons will be eating him a bit as well. This is a bit heavy. Not, not the actual Slam, all the extra shit. Come over here, you. They do chase you quite a way. Oh, spiders now. Zombies down. King Slam's down, there we go. Looks like it's a chisel that he's dropped. Can 
We're in the fire. Ha <laughs> Um yeah, well. Ooh. Got a heart canister. Excellent. So I've got my first miniature red heart. And I've got a chisel. I don't know what extra these add like, um, but you get a king slam item, every time you king a kill, kill a king slam. But well, I think the best thing I've got from that is the miniature red heart and I am gonna use that straight away. Um made this a little bit dangerous here. A skeleton did climb up onto there and then jumped in and uh, a creeper I mean and nearly blew me up. Right, so what do I need for this then? To make a uh, one of these I need four raw aluminium for a start. And then I need to go into the smeltery. Let me out please. Throw them into that. Um, I need an acrostic bone, which I've got one of. I need an apple, which I've got plenty of. Um, let's sling all that junk. All that um, organic junk in there. And gunpowder can go in there. I'm going to use four diamonds. It's going to cost me. But I think it's worth it. Um, put that chisel in there for now. I'll have to read up see if they actually add anything. Any bonus. Uh, what else do I need? That's all I need. So first of all, I'm a crafting bench. Throw on the apple with diamonds. Make sure a jeweled apple. Then you put them three things in there. And we just need to wait for the aluminium now. So aluminium's liquidized. Turn it into ingots. Like so. Come on. And then put them in a square crafting pattern. Get you an empty canister. The last thing you need. Get you a heart canister. Wonderful. Now if you press, uh, I'll click on there. I'll press O. You can add that there. And now I've, instead of having ten hearts of health, I've got eleven. There you go. Ten and a half and eleven. And you can have a, you can have a maximum of ten of them. So you can get up to twenty hearts of hit points. Which really does make a difference. It's pretty cool. It's a, it's a nice amount of difference. Right, I'm going to sort that portal out before I forget. And then, I think, it's going to be on to Mistcraft stuff. And I'm back again. Uh, I'm out and about. The house is over that way somewhere. Uh, I think, unless I'm lost. Oops, wrong button. Um, I think it's over that way. I'm out and about getting some ink sacks. Because we need that to do my uh, Mistcraft. And uh, look what I found. One of these guys. I thought I'd just record... What happens in here? See if uh, any shenanigans go on. What I know to do in these is I get a torch down on them two pillars. And uh, that kind of slows down the spawn a little bit. I don't fully turn it off. As you can see there's still plenty of things where things can spawn up here. But as we go down there you'll see that there is um, screw it. Got the odd thing spawn in here, it doesn't really matter. Um, as you go down you'll see that there is spawners there and what that does it just putting a torch on them cuts the spawners off quite nicely and um, the spawners I will of course be keeping because as soon as I get a wither skeleton I might be able to suck that up and make it and uh, add them 200 kills to the wither skeleton zombie one not so important uh, let's see what we get books useful um, yeah. I'll leave them manuals for now. I might put them on a bookshelf at some point. Silt touch, very nice. The silt touch. Bit of silver. Some sapphires are good. That's all good stuff. Um, knowledge fragment we'll keep. Set of steel armor. That's after I bloody enchanted the iron one. <laughs> um, and some bronze. That's not a bad haul at all, that. So luckily I've got my ender pouch there that I can chuck some of this stuff in. So I've got nearly a full set of uh, steel armor there. That's quite nice. That maybe smelt some of that down, make, make a helmet. Um, rotten flesh can stay there. In fact, I'll take the chest as well. Um, now nah, we've got plenty of chests. That's not an issue. We'll leave them there. But there we go. So I, I've got some ink sacks. I am going to waypoint this. I'm going to call it 
fill spawner for later. Done. Weird. Skill spawner and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to options and actually turn that off. Well, it's there for when I need it again. Uh, and free beef. Um, I'm killing cows that are good so I don't have to mess around um, breeding my own at the minute. But yeah, I just came for a little run out this way. I was actually going to keep running and try and find uh, biomes of plenty of biomes just to show you that they exist on the server. Um, I might do that. Uh, so you'll either see me back at the base with a bit more ink. Oh, loads of cows out here. Or you'll see me in a biome of plenty um, biome just to show you that they do actually exist on the server. Back in a bit. Back again, uh, just killed a couple of wisps because I found this. And I'm going to break the spawn underneath for it. Um, cause me any more hassle. And I had a quick look in this when the first wisp grabbed me and look what, look what we got. Hooray! Portal gun. Awesome. Love me a portal gun. Uh, these are all quite useful. Um, <laughs> my bag's getting a bit of a mess. Ah, oh, god damn it. Um, what shall I put? I'll keep steak. I'll keep leather. Oh, forgot about that. Of course. Where'd that come from? I did real well killing these uh, off camera with my bow, and I bet I never hit the bastard w when I'm recording. Come on, where you gone? Damn guy. Ah. Yeah. Right, um, so yeah, useful stuff, getting loads of useful stuff, golden apple, appetite looks different, uh, I, yeah, I'll take them, just in case I get a shitty upgrade on something and I want to um, upgrade it more, I'll leave the music disc for now, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go back to the base, um, because I, f I forgot how big this bloody, um, icy mountains biome is where we spawned in. So I've actually come south from where I was. Uh, I was heading looking for a bit, bit more water and I noticed that on the map when I had a look. So uh, I'll be heading back to my base now. I'll see you there. Okay, so I'm back at the base. Um, actually I made a little pond there to see some squid spawn in there. I'm not really sure what makes squid spawn. I heard it was three deep but I've made it four deep at one point there. And if nothing spawns in there I've got a nice little pond. Um, there's the crops with Growing stuff on them to see so, so you can see it. So I've got melons there. Oh, I did click on melons, but uh, didn't actually give me any, did it? Melon well, maybe won't grow enough. But uh, that's it. So you don't have to replant. You can just right-click them to get your uh, to get your stuff all the time. Got some more pumpkin seeds in there. Um, while I'm passing, let me just put some more bees. Back in. Now, um, Monkey tells me that you can use creosote instead of seed oil now. So let's just quick look at that. Uh, creosote, what do you go into? Creosote, impregnated sticks, there you go, with creosote instead of seed oil. So that's kind of awesome. Because I always end up with loads of creosote that I used it last time, but um, a lot of the times I just void it. But, uh, there we go, we can start making impregnated sticks for frames using our creosote that will be a side effect of creating steel. And speaking of creating steel, uh, it made a powered furnace, which was the one, well, one of the thermal expansion machines was missing, was a powered furnace. But we can, I've kept some of that steel armor, just so I've got another set, but because this is the thing that Greg Tech adds, is you, you can smelt stuff back into back into ingots which is why it interacted badly with the tinker's construct thing so because you can still smell all these back into ingots we uh, I don't need a sword of course because I've got that I can change, I can make all this stuff back into ingots so I can, I can use that steel for some other stuff which is pretty cool it saves you having chests full of armor that you're never going to use and a bit of bronze there as well so we'll get that and um, speaking of that I am going to make another one of these as it is now Every ore I'm getting, I'm only getting one ingot from because the way this works now and it's auto smelting it, I would be better off getting the actual ore so I can then put it in the 
pulverize it and power fairness and actually double it up so i don't need to make another pickaxe that one is going to go on the wall um so i'm going to have to get another 450 lapis into it into the new one so i, I want fortune on it still i just don't want it to have auto smell and i don't think you can take things off uh, i will check off camera but i don't think you can take things off that um 44 ink sacks oh shit well i was there sorry let's just go back in here I'm going to start building a proper fat, uh, proper town soon, I guess. Um, well, I'm in here. Put them pumping seeds in there. See, something else that can go in there that I didn't know about, cactus green. So you can process your cactus. You don't have to cook your cactus to make it into cactus green. That goes in there as well, so that's all good. So there's all kind of stuff that you can put in there. Um, we're going to have no trouble with getting power off that until we start getting a bigger demand than that can keep up with, and then we'll have to start going to boilers. But um, that's okay. Oops, I didn't do the boots. Let's do the boots. So I cleared my inventory off. I actually found another hollow hill. I vaguely remembered seeing a green mound when I first came from spawn. So I went south from where I was. And um, I did... Because obviously in a icy mountains biome, the hollow hills on the map shows like a little green mound where the snow ain't covered them. So I went and found another hollow hill and got a bit more stuff. That's why I had a bit more steel stuff there. Um, the portal I've taken down and I've been through this portal in here a few times and it's stayed gold it's um it's it's put me in and out the same one i've actually changed the setting there you can't do it while it's active i changed it so it's inverted redstone so that's actually with no signal on it turns off so to shut that down now i'd actually have to um to shut that down i'd actually have to put a lever on there and turn it off one of the things i want to make for this is the commander upgrades i do Coming to upgrades, I of course, um, da -da, it's the camouflage one. Camouflage one I want to make pretty soon. When I get a spare ender pearl, I'll be making one of them. And what that'll do is that'll change all these blocks into cobble as well. So it looks like a, a cobble wall there. Then of course, you can get rid of the, with the same upgrades, you can get rid of the particle effects and the sound. Uh, stop sounds. Sorts particles, get rid of them. So that'll actually end up looking like a cobblestone wall, where it'll actually be my nether pole. It's pretty cool. Uh, I don't want to get into that en enhanced portals mod quite a lot. I want to make a good network of portals. I, I really like the idea behind it, and the fact that the dial device actually be placed. You can place it in front of it like a DHD from Stargate, which just makes me giggle a little bit. Um, right. So without further ado, let's actually move on to what I'm meant to be doing in this episode, and that is, of course. Getting a couple of miscraft worlds on the go. Um, now, the next episode after this, I'm going to be making a tree farm. Because I've got power to run it. So, I don't know. I, I could do it now. What I'm going to do between episodes is start laying out an area for another building. which Or a big outdoor farm. But I'll probably do it indoors. Just to stop things jumping on crops. But um, start laying out an area for my farms. And get a wood farm going. Tree farm. Um, ink sacks. I'm not 100% sure on this, but I think I could have made them from using aluminium stone. Let's just check with one bit of bone meal. Um, no, okay, certain things change. Certain dyes can be used other dyes. The cocoa beans count them, because cocoa beans are a dye, aren't they? No, cocoa beans don't have it. So, it looks like the ones that don't grow, you cannot maybe change. If you look at a recipe for that, for that. See that orange dye can change into that. A red and a yellow can make an orange of course. Um no minimum stone oh yeah magenta keep going backwards light blue so yellow okay yellow flowers I can make it from yellow flowers when well, you got a couple but uh I can make in ink sacks in theory then from oh, I've got twelve eh uh, what would we do? 24 yellow flowers light blue magenta orange ink sacks there we go so we can make ink sacks from flowers which is good to know so there we go i've got over a stack of ink sacks so that's good um that's if you want to use a minion stone for that really happy i've got a portal gun that's real nice um really useful what i should actually do is upgrade this so it's a private network for a start but um what I'll also do is, in fact I will do that, I'll do it off camera, but 
I'm going to put a portal there and then put that back in my ender pouch. So I've always got... I can use orange to get back. Until the other guys come on the server. The other guys haven't been on the server at all, I don't think. They're just they're real happy playing um, Hexit. So they're playing Hexit a lot more than me. I'm pretty sure Justice Fist will be playing 1.6 vanilla because he's big into his vanilla. So at the minute, uh, I am on my own. But I am, I'm pretty sure they will join me one day. <laughs> Unless uh, the man crack invite me on their face and I'll just ditch these chumps. That was a joke, of course. Um, right, Ink Mixer. Glass bottle. So I need some glass. Am I lagging? Little lag spike there. Glass bottle, there we go. And then we need some more glass bottles anyway, so I should have actually made more of them. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that'll do. Let's make some more of them. Get out of the way, glass bottles. Three. There's nine of them guys, and then it's just smooth stone, was it? Was it smooth stone? Two planks, and some smooth stone. And planks, there we go. And one glass bottle gets us our ink mixer. So, I believe I should the making of these. I pinched that from um, I pinched that from a village, didn't I? The actual writing table. In fact, let's just go to our mod and go to Miscraft. There we go. So, and the writing table, nice and easy. It's planks, a feather, and a glass bottle. I pinched that one from a village, though. And then, of course, the book binder is another important one. Planks and iron, and then finally the ink mixer. For what we just made. There's the three bits you need. Um, we actually, I don't want to do something else. I want to take four of them and turn them back into dust. Let me out, God's sake. So let's just run over here. Um, I don't want them to go back into ingot, so let's turn them into dust. And that should give me an interlinking book. Not that I really need one. But uh, I might as well make a couple while I'm doing it. Some interlinking panels that should make me. So first thing then is we need a water source. First thing I guess is get a water source. Let's bring a water source into the building. This is all going nice and quick because of the thing there. Have I buggered that off? Piss off. Um. Right, where can I put a water source in here? That's quick. Can't really, can I? Should do the liquid crafting maybe. Um Yeah, they should do. So it's one, two, three, four, and then water there. And water there it gives me a nice little water water source. And then I'll put that block back and just to tidy it up. You can barely see it. I'll just put that back there. So we have got a water source quite close to the thing now. Uh, if I need to get... And what the reason why I might need it is just to fill them guys up. So there we go. They don't stack, of course, when they're uh, like that. But what we can do now is turn them into inks. That into... Ink. So it's... One water bottle... So ink sacks gets you an ink vial. So just quickly, I'm shift left clicking them in and out of there. Nice and quick, gets us some ink. Thank you very much. And um, what's next? Right, we need some leather. That's not leather, that's rotten flesh. Some leather, try again. Have I lagged out? I don't know if it's an issue with iron. It seems to be almost every time I touch the iron chests. I don't know if iron chests has got an issue. I keep blaming Tom on the server, but uh, it seems to be whenever I touch the chest I get a bit of an issue. I'll check on the uh, forum for that as well. So I want lever in there. Do we put ink in here as well? No, we don't put ink in this one. We put ink in that one, of course, up there. 
And I'll put a couple of ink in that one. And of course we put ink in there. There we go. So the first thing then I need to make which is paper. I've got plenty of sugar cane. I've got plenty of sugar cane. I'll make more paper as I need it. So I want some linking panels and what I'm going to try and do is make them so they're interlinking. So if I put paper in there. I don't know if doing it when it's fully green helps or not, but put that in my bar. No, that, that didn't interlink that, so one dust was not enough there. Let's try again. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's just... Um, I don't think it actually makes a difference when you actually click it. So they are not interlinking. So one dust does not seem to be enough. I've done it with one dust on the other version, but of course it may have changed. They're just stacking out the... So I think I'm just wasting gold dust there. Yep, yeah, so uh, never mind, never mind. Um, I may have been doing something wrong there. Things, like I say, with Tinkers, uh, with Mistcraft, you have to be careful because things do often change quite a bit between between versions, so be aware of that. Let's just make that last one that I missed there. So I'll wham me up for that. Boop. So we've got plenty of things there. Um, of course, if, let's get some more lever over here because I'm going to need some in there as well. I should actually make some bags as well so I've got more inventory space. I thought when, when I was uh, out, out and about I had an inventory full of course I had my knapsack. My knapsack was just sat inside my ender pouch doing nothing. So um, uh, I put that back where it should be. I'm only going to use that for like emergency stuff when my inventory is full because I'll, I'll, if you do die it's shit goes all over the floor. Um, I'd rather actually keep things inside the holding bags inside here which I'll be making pretty soon as well. Babbling, babbling. Um, so let's 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 do some stuff. Let's get some planks and sticks. And I've got a couple of lecterns. I think I'll use them lecterns. Planks and sticks get me book stands. And lecterns are from the same place I got this from. So I'm gonna bank a couple of lecterns up there. And then what we can do is First of all, make some books to get back home. There's a couple of unlinked link books. And then one of them in there will get me a descriptive book. And another one there will get me another descriptive book. There's our first two random descriptive books. I want to make it so that my link book brings me back here. So let's turn both of them into linked linking books by putting them in your bar and right clicking them. Do not work if they're stacked. There's one. There's another. So they're both bring me right back to this spot. I've got stands to put them on, which is good. Uh, I'll put them on the, that other stand in there. Put them buckets away. Put my bow back on my back. And ready for a little adventure. So um, I might do a little bit of this adventuring on the live stream after this episode. But uh, what can do? And by adventure I mean just running around looking for pages and stuff like that in these wells we're going to go to. So what we've got here, we've got age 2 and of course age 3. So first of all then, let's go to age 2. Whee! And this may crash the server. Pink Starfield, looks quite cool. Ooh. So it hasn't crashed the server, that's good. I don't see any immediate detrimental effects on me. It's a bit freaky, doesn't it? What's this then? Majestic Meadow. So that's a biome. There's a plenty biome, I'm guessing. So, good practice. Put that down. Put a book back to get back home. Press M. Book. Make a waypoint. So now I can get back home safely. Uh, is that Netherrack Tendrils? By the look of it. Should I... Let's turn this on. I don't know how it's shown it's not close enough. Of course. Um, I could have made a, a spy glass to see what that was. So that's interesting, doesn't it? Hmm. So let's look on the map. Can we immediately see any square structures? That could be one north over that way. See there's like a grey 
thing. So we've got checkered, we've got tiled biomes here. So let's see what the other biome we are in. It's one of them is this meadows. Oh, purified grass is the one that heal you. I think that's the one that heals you, isn't it? The purified stuff. Um, and this other biome here is temperate rainforest. So we've got a mixture of temperate rainforest and I forgot what it was called already. Summit Meadow, Sexy Meadow, Majestic Meadow. Majestic Meadow, cool. We'll have a little bit of exploring here then. So this is what I may spend the live stream doing after this episode, is running through a few of these wells looking for looking for um, abandoned libraries. This one, due to the, the, due to the way it's built, is going to be very hard to get around in at any kind of speed. Blue milk cap. Blue slam. That's a milk cap. Can I make them into dyes? I can't. So there's some nice blue dyes. Which of course, most plants that you find are good for that. There's a loft wood. Hmm. A nice tree there. I may chop down. Try and get. Try and get some things from. So is this an abandoned library? Or is it just a bit of cobble? It is an abandoned library. Awesome. So there's our first abandoned library. So this is what you need to find your um, pages, as I'm sure you've seen before. And really good source of books, of course. So we'll grab all them. Um, do I need a little bit of music while I'm getting these books? Nah, no, I'll be alright. Um, that just reminds me, I've not put there. I've not put the music provided by on my last episode. I need to do that before I forget. Royalty free music from a guy called Kevin McLeod. It's really good stuff. There's uh, loads of Loads of stuff on there. All he asks is that you, in the video description, is that you put that the music is from him. It's very kind of him. It's, um, when you actually look into it, getting music to put on video is actually quite expensive. Right, let's see what we've got. We've got Brushland Biome, Dunes Biome, cool. Magenta, Twilight Forest Biome, Green, a couple of colours then. Fast weather, crag biome, timber biome, normal weather. Normal weather is a good one to have. So there we go. There's our first thing. Now, because we've got biomes aplenty, it actually makes it could make things a bit difficult because there's loads of biome pages. And I don't know what that affects the the amount of other pages that drop. So we could end up with getting loads and loads and loads and one more time, loads of biomes and not getting the other stuff we need, like um normal sun and stuff like that. But so a quick look on the map. Can you see anything else within range? Don't see anything else that looks like a looks like um, a abandoned library. I don't see anything that looks like a miscraft barrow hill either. But in this but in this uh, terrain, I can't see me to find that. So I'm going to get back to the base. I'll do that off camera, and we'll go and check that other world out. See if it's a bit flatter, just, uh, and then it'll be a bit easy to get around in. Okay, I'm back, and um, that's quite a nice little world, that isn't it? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off the let ten, and uh, I'll put it back in there a second, and I'm going to give it a name. Age two, tiled. Oh, I forgot what it was called again. Um, sexy meadow. One hit. Tile sexy meadow. That was it. So that's as far as we can get. Age two, tile sexy me. That probably will give me no idea at all what that book is. Um, age 3, I'm going to go to another live stream. So that'll be up in about 20 minutes. I'll start that from when you're watching this. So I, I just noticed I've, the episode's up to like 38 minutes. So I'm going to wrap up now. Um, before I go, a couple of things. These are all the bits you need to make a potato upgrade for a portal gun. Portal guns by default, they're a shared gun. So if you and your, you and anyone else in the server has the same one, if you set a if you set a portal and then they set one, it'll move yours. So 
what you want to do is upgrade it. The, the best upgrade is the potatoes. Well, I'd say best upgrade. I think it's the top two upgrades of uh, personal networks. So there we go. Jukebox is just a diamond with planks around it. Redstone repeaters are just stone, uh, smooth stone, redstone torch, and redstone. Really simple stuff. Make us a potato. Combine that, and now we've got our own private network a potato gun. So we can put that there, and then we can always get back quick, which I forgot about when I was in that world. I, I should have used that while I was there. Well, there we go. And the other thing I want to go just before I put my uh, second redstone energy cell in there, by the way. I didn't need it in there. Couple of things. Um, oh, that thing reminds me there. What I was going to do, suggestion by a couple of people, the last of them being um, Eamon on the last episode, is to make the new Tinker's Constructs uh, hammer. Um, is it wooden hammer, one of these hammers. So I'm going to make a Millennium Hammer. Uh, that does a 3x3 three three digging area. I'll put Fortune on that and um, we'll see how that works. I won't put Auto Smell on it. I'll use that for digging ours up. If that's what that works on. I'll double check that. But I'll be making that soon as well. So thanks for that suggestion. And one other thing. I just wanted to see if I plant this here. Will it stay? I'll just stir that purified stuff. So I'm going to have to check biomes of plenty. Um, wiki. And see what that does for me. Right. As always. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it's enjoyable. And uh, I hope you can. If you've got time. You can join me for the last stream. If not. I hope you join me for the next episode. Cheers. Bye.